What a difference between the northern border and the southern border. I want to thank John and Ted for bringing us down here. There's 18 senators here, and what we're trying to accomplish is we want the American people to understand what's going on here. We just want the American people to understand what's going on here, because if they do, they'll say, no, this has to stop right now. You have to change this right now. As we said, we just came by a dead body in the water, just coming back to this press conference. Last night when we landed, we went with the Border Patrol out and saw where the migrants are coming across the river, coming up trails, and they're being, in essence, processed under a bridge. Is that how we do things in America now? We have people streaming in illegally, children, women and children. We just let them come in and we process them under a bridge in the middle of the night and we won't let the American people see it? We won't let senators take a picture of it? Is that how we do things in America now? You see, I think if the American people understand what's going on, they're going to say, no, you change this right now. And that's what this is about. Today, we go to the Donna Processing Center. It's a tent. It's a big tent. How many of you have been in there? I guess not, right? Well, we're in there today. And why aren't you in there? What's going on? It's a big tent with COVID protocols. They're supposed to have a maximum of 250 people in there. 250 with, with COVID protocols. Without COVID protocols, a maximum of 1,000 people. How many are in there today? 4,200. And in this sector alone, 3,000 people a day are coming across every single day. We asked the Customs and Border Protection, the Border Patrol professionals, what do you need to stop this so you can get on top of it, so you can do your job? What has to happen? What's the number one and two things? They said, look, if you reinstate the Remain in Mexico and the safe third country uh, approaches, we can get on top of this right now. That's what needs to happen, and that needs to happen right now. And then as Senator Grassley said, and others have said, then let's figure out how we do address immigration in an intelligent and a humane way. But it starts with the American people understanding what's going on right now and us changing it.